Exercise 13. The Martinez Company reported the following current year data for its only product. The company uses a periodic inventory system, and its ending inventory consists of 390 units, 130 from each of the last three purchases. We're asked to determine the cost assigned to ending inventory and a cost of goods sold using each of the four methods, beginning with specific identification. Each of the 3,820 units and the $9,538 available for sale must be allocated to cost of goods sold or ending inventory. We're told that ending inventory consists of 390 units, 130 units from each of the last three purchases. So the value of ending inventory, 130 multiplied by 240 is 312, 130 multiplied by 270 is 351, and 130 multiplied by 280 is 364. Ending inventory is valued at $1,027. Cost of goods sold includes the 260 units from beginning inventory, 520 units from the March 7th purchase, 1,170 units from the July 28th purchase, 1,050 units from the October 3rd purchase, and 430 units from the December 19th purchase. The total cost of the 3,430 units sold is $8,511. Using the weighted average method, we calculate the average cost by taking the total cost of goods available for sale and dividing by total units available for sale. $9,538 divided by 3,820 units is an average cost of $2.497 per unit. We have 390 units in any inventory. When we multiply 390 by 2.497, ending inventory is valued at $974. Cost of goods sold, 3,430 units at $2.497 per unit, $8,564. Using periodic FIFO, units are expensed in chronological order. The first 3,430 units owned are expensed as cost of goods sold, 260 units at $2 per unit, 520 at 220, 1,300 at 240, 1,180 at 270, plus 170 of the 560 units, expenses a total of 3,430 units. When we extend the dollars, cost of goods sold equals 520 plus 1144 plus 3120 plus 3186 plus 476 cost of goods sold is $8,446. This leaves 390 of the 560 units purchased on December 19th as ending inventory. Ending inventory is $1,092. Assuming periodic LIFO, we still expense 3,430 units and still have 390 units in ending inventory. But the units are expensed in reverse chronological order. We start at the bottom and count backwards until we've expensed 3,430 units. 560 at 280, plus 1180 at 270, plus 1300 at 240, plus 390 of the 520 units expenses a total of 3,430 units. Total cost of goods sold is 858 plus 3120, plus 3,186, plus 1,568. Cost of goods sold, 8732 Ending inventory consists of the 260 units from beginning inventory plus 130 units of the units purchased on March 7th. Ending inventory then equals 520 plus 286, a total of 806. Requirement 2 asks which method yields the highest net income. The highest net income is realized with the lowest amount of expense. The lowest expense is FIFO. In periods of increasing prices, FIFO yields the lowest cost of goods sold, as its expense represents the lowest cost per unit items.